Shalom, people. This is Brother Lars coming at you with another video. I want to talk about the storm that's coming here to the Carolinas, uh, Category 4 uh, hurricane named Florence. It's supposed to cause major damage to the coastlines of North and South Carolina and people have been preparing for it for a few days now. Indeed, uh, they say even inland is gonna be some major flooding, probably some spin-offs of some tornadoes or uh, tropical force winds that's gonna topple some trees and knock out power. And um, so it's, it's got people uh, in this part of the southeast uh, standing on edge because the coast of North Carolina especially hasn't received uh, at least we haven't received it yet but we haven't faced this type of uh, storm in a, a while I can think back to 1995 when they had Hurricane Floyd that pretty much destroyed the uh, eastern part of North Carolina washed away uh, a lot of history. Uh, apparently there was people, black people, Hebrew people down there in the eastern part of the state that still were sleep, living in uh, some of the remnants of the post-Civil War and pre-Civil War houses that we were still living in because they was on the, their land and I guess they felt it was part of history and didn't have to pay no mortgage or rent. And uh, Floyd pretty much washed all that stuff away. And in many cases, probably for good cause to get uh, the people to come into the 20th, 21st century. But I want to talk also about another storm or hurricane that happened in the Bible in the book of Acts when Paul was on the ship sailing to Rome to see Caesar in order to petition him to keep him from being uh, uh, tried by the Yahudim for uh, blaspheming the temple. How as they were out on the sea, the Bible said they approached a tempestuous storm called Eurocladin. And I need to probably research that because I'm pretty sure in secular history they have it named something different. but. Whatever it is, it was a pretty bad storm. It was it was uh, mentioned by name in the Bible. The thing that uh, st stands out to me about uh, the situation that Paul then faced with this storm was that uh, Paul said that the Most High had sent his angel to comfort Paul as they entered into the storm that those that were on the ship with him that uh, the, the, the angel had told him that if they stayed on the ship the angel told Paul that they all would be saved and that Paul had uh, let the captain of the ship know this and being that that was getting pretty rough seas the captain having uh, other prisoners on the ship besides Paul uh, felt that eventually it would come down to the fact that he would have to start lightening the load of the ship and after he had threw over some of the goods he felt that maybe it was time for him to start throwing the prisoners over 
But Paul continued to state to him, uh, if you remain in the ship, we'll all be saved. We know eventually that because he kept driving harder and harder and he came to a certain area near the shore and threw his anchors down that the ship eventually did break apart. But the men, including Paul, and all of them remained on the bits and pieces that was on the ship and was able to swim to shore. Therefore, they were able to be saved as the Most High's angel had told Paul. So what does this mean to us as black people, as Hebrews in this country, with these storms of uh, violence coming against us with uh, economic storms on the horizon that will probably affect us first with uh, crime and violence amongst our own people and the multiplicity of different beliefs and uh, religions in the black community that are fighting against each other Hebrew Israelites against Christians Christians against Muslims what it means to me as a believer in Mashiach is that I must remain on the ship of Yeshua I need to get on his ship what ship is that? It's what the old saints, the old Hebrews back in the post and pre-slavery days used to say, the old ship of Zion. The old ship of Zion must remain on that ship with Yeshua, even as when he was uh, walking on the water and the disciples were on the ship and the storm had got pretty bad and he walked out on the sea to to rescue them to calm the seas and the other incident where he was laying in the ship as the storm raged and the disciples said don't you know we perished and Yeshua got up and calmed the, the winds and the storms and the lightning. We must remain with Yeshua. We must remain with our Savior. We must remain with the Holy Ruach of the Most High, Yah, because we are entering into some tempestuous storms that are going to come our way. And surely, surely, if the ship even breaks apart, if we hold on to the bits and pieces, we'll still be saved. I don't think that the Most High is going to have it any other way, that he's going to have us clinging for dear life this time. Because when he brings us out, we have to know that he brought us out so that we won't be like all the other times before that he, he saved us and then we got comfortable in Zion and we we got comfortable with our enemies and we start making peace treaties and alliances with people of different beliefs and faiths and customs than us that drew us into their way of thinking and their way of life he has to let us know this time as we come through the storm when he brings us out that it was him that indeed uh, saved us he's already given us his word in the Bible that he was going to save us as a people now does that mean you as an individual I believe if you put it before the most high he'll let you know what your state is going to be in the storm you know a lot of people are fleeing the, the coast to go to hotels and different things like that to get away from the storm but some people are riding out because they feel that hey 
I'm going to be okay. And as that pertains to us as uh, Hebrews, when it comes to whether we stay here in America with the continued uh, escalation of violence against us or uh, go overseas, I think that's an individual thing. I don't think no one should, you know, say, hey, we're getting ready to read a fleet of planes, everybody get on a plane and we fly to Africa because in each individual situation the most high Yah and the son Yeshua might be telling someone else something because remember the Bible says he said that he is going to bring his people from the four corners of the earth so there's got to be some people that's going to remain in some of these other countries in order for him to bring them back when he comes so all of us are not going to uh, flee the storm. Some of us are going to have to stay back. Some of us are going to have to stay back because the Bible says that he cannot go without a witness in the earth. So some of us is going to have to ride the storm out. Either way, the Bible says in the New Testament, he said, the Most High will help you to bear up under it or he will make a way of escape. In Paul's situation, he made a way of escape for them in what was a sure death sentence selling into the heart of that that uh, that storm, Eurocladon. But Paul said that the Most High, who, whom I am and whom I am, has told me that I and all those with me will be saved if we are with Yeshua like the disciples were in the ship, we'll be okay. We must not look to some individual organization or some country or some society to be uh, our help. We must look to Yeshua because the storms is gonna come and they're gonna tear up a lot of stuff. A lot of people are going to be scattered to and fro. But we got to stay in the old ship of Zion. Excuse me. We got to stay in that old ship. We can't, uh, we can't try to dive overboard. There's not going to be many people that are going to be very helpful to us in these coming years or decades or however long it will be before the Mashiach come back. But we must remain in the ship. We must remain faithful to Yeshua. Uh, religions and movements are gonna come and go. I've seen them. But you gotta remain in the ship. Don't give up your faith. I know they say that a lot of uh, Christians that are coming out of the Christian church that are coming into the Hebrew uh, belief are fleeing from belief in Mashiach him, him being the savior I'm here to let you know you need to get back on the ship I'm not talking about getting to, get into Christianity because when you was in Christianity was you in the ship were you in Christ or were you in your denomination that's what the problem is most of us are into our denominations or our camps or whatever we need to get on that old ship of Zion and there's plenty of room for everyone, just like uh, Noah, when he built the ark. He got every kind of clean and unclean, unfortunately, animal on the ship. And they were all saved, including his family. So the Most High has told us the same. And Paul even stated, they said, whether we live or die, if we, we're in the Lord, we'll be with the Lord. So just remember that. Stay on the old ship of Zion. Stay on the ship. Be blessed.